that guy thread. Post stories about playing with, beating or being that guy. The first group I played with was during the D&D 5th edition playtest in early 2014. The players were me playing the nicest halfling cleric I could imagine because I was 19 and scared of people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we all go through that. <laughs> a dragonborn fighter, a human wizard, both pretty cool guys, and Artorius the Abyss Walker, the fighter. Oh, you just know finally like, he's hyper edge. <laughs> like that name alone. That name, Artorius. The Abyss Walker. <laughs> oh god, please. Artorius used this pick for his character and described his hair and skin as shadowy and his blood as black goop. Ugh. The player had, despite never playing D&D before, created his own special race with the power to consume souls of the fallen, detect life, and like a couple of other fucking retarded things that the DM allowed for some reason. For those who don't know, Artorius is a boss from the video game Dark Souls and a lot of effort was spent hammering this point down. The guy kept telling us about his Dark Souls backstory, how he was the great commander of a bunch of knights, how he had a wolf as a pet, how he had a magic sword and shield, and I think cape, <laughs> oh. and how he lost them when he went into the abyss to fight the abyss. But the abyss corrupted him with its abyssness, <laughs> <laughs> and he became an insane evil abyss walker. Oh. I haven't played Dark Souls, so I don't know how accurate this is to the game, but... To make him a PC, Atorius had in our game broken free from his corruption with his iron will and been sent to another world to recover his magic items and then find a portal back home or something. We all start out at level 1 of course, as we're playing a few sessions. It becomes apparent that this guy did his own version of the point buy system, where instead of following the rules, he starts with all stats at 10 and then adds 30 points. So his stats are 17, 17, 17, 12, 10, 17. At first he said he did point by, but then later he said that he rolled them. So he Mate, clearly did not no. actually roll them. See, no. see, no, that does my deck in. See, whenever you're like, roll up somewhere, and like, you know, the guy's like, oh yeah, no, I rolled at home. Why would you not believe me that I have 20 in every stat? Yeah, of course you did, mate. <laughs> Why would you ever doubt me? <laughs> he tried making his own class later on and picked the best parts from fighter, paladin, barbarian, and added soul-stealing homebrew stuff. I don't think he ever really read 5th edition rules. It's really not that difficult. No. Like, you know, it's it's a really streamlined game. Yeah. It is a very streamlined game. Yeah. Like, you know, come on. Some things he'd do. Stealing the souls of kobolds while killing and giggling, telling us out of game that we could not see him torture or consume the souls. Wait, what's the point then? I know trying to get laid and then just getting upset that his 17 charisma didn't offset how creepy an extremely tall guy with misty shadowy skin is. <laughs> <laughs> Killing a kobold with a javelin crit in session 2 and bragging about it for the next 5 sessions. Oh mate, it was a cold kill. Okay, don't get me wrong, it was a cold kill but come on. Kept repeating jokes from roleplay. A early D&D stream show that I think only I had seen getting mad that his weird homebrew race powers aren't as useful as a paladin class ability. Decided to take on a kobold shaman on his own after the rest of the group accepted a truce and almost dying after holding a long anime speech. <laughs> you just knew the anime was going to leak in. Kept calling himself chaotic good. Nah, no, N no. no boy with misty... Oh, let me, and black let, goop blood. Let, let me just make myself sound as good. evil as possible, <laughs> and oh, me just just sort yourself out, would you? Got upset when the performance skills he had proficiency in was about acting or playing music or whatever, and not physical performance and insurance. <laughs> 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 <Stop it. laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I like that. Kept making weird jokes about women on their periods and clerk characters being pedos then immediately repeated them to himself while laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Complained about having itchy legs because he didn't dry them after showering. <laughs> How did this come up? <laughs> How did this come up? <laughs> and then being really confused when we told him he should dry himself after showering. Oh, no. He, you know, finally, he stank to high heaven. All that moisture. Yeah. All that moisture in his ass and balls. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop it. This is a PTA to go out. Boys, just use a towel. Yeah, just just, just use a just towel. Just give it a quick dab. You'll be fine. 
requested the DM homebrew an Estus flask magic item that will work as a rechargeable healing potion, except stronger because of course. <laughs> Demanded from the other players out of game that we prioritise his character's story of searching for his magic set instead of saving a time. <laughs> No. <laughs> See, people like that. No. Uh, you know, you know the thing is, like, I'm telling you right now, this guy's an only child. Oh, oh, he, he, he reeks I, of it. I, I don't care what you have to say. Like, I can like, smell you know, only child syndrome from this him. guy. Just gives me only child syndrome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, sorry to all the, the only ch- only children in the comments, but well, like, I'm sorry. There's I'm like, sorry. A, there's a least everybody I, knows a weird only child who like. Is spoiled Rodman thinks you're so entitled to everything. everything. Tell me, tell me we're wrong. Though. He's all no one. You do At no least one. one. There is. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't apply for everyone. No. But I would say at least a good thirty to forty percent. Yeah. <laughs> when we changed system and everyone made new characters, he refused and kept playing at risk. <laughs> Look, you don't get it, Megan. He walked through the abyss into the new Saturn. When he realised Atorius was no longer by far the strongest character in the party due to caster supremacy, he rolled a wizard and kept bothering the other PCs by wizard locking doors and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that last thing was what made the DM kick him out in the end. As a new player, I learned a lot from this guy about what not to do. <laughs> well, I'm happy that he got it out in his first go. Yeah. This guy does seem to get full and I'm happy the DM did. Like, I, I do feel like seeing people like this, you kind of need to set them down and be like, look, mate, don't what are you out. doing? <laughs> like, you know, you're kind of you getting on like cringe. Do you want to not be cringe? I've had a lot of that guy experiences, but the one that finally made me say fuck it and form my own group of completely new players was when I had a completely terrible DM. He did a lot of dumb shit, but the one that always stands out in my mind was this. You see some footprints. Okay, what kind of footprints are they? Roll a nature check. I roll really badly. You don't know. Ugh, damn, gotcha. Well, what's the general shape of the footprint? You don't know. No, not what kind they are, I'm just asking for a physical description. You roll bad, so you don't know. You're saying that because I failed a nature check. My eyes stopped working and I can't even discern a general shape or size of the footprints? Yes, <laughs> it's Ugh. such a small thing, but it was an obvious sign that he had no clue what he was doing. Yeah, it is a very I small... Don't, I don't really think if it's a clue of, that he had no clue of what he was doing. I think it's just that he's stubborn and he doesn't want to give you any clues. I, th- I think the biggest problem is too many people rely on rules mm-hmm. so heavily. Like, you know, games, yeah. I, I would say, like, you know, like most people would be able to tell you, okay, is it a hoof? Is it, like, Bigfoot? You know what I mean? You can kind of, like, you know, yeah. I can tell what is a hoof a is, but, but, like, you know, what's the difference between a deer and yeah. a horse? Is it and... four legs? Is it two legs? Yeah. You know? There's a lot, and, like, you know, just because you've got a basic idea of what type of creature it is doesn't mean you know what you're going after, yeah. you know? It could be fucking anything, for God's sake. Hey, guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running, and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list and it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking. So once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties. (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. I'll leave this to you, TG, to decide who was that guy. Be me, dumb autist. Have character dying campaign. Have the normal reaction to your PC dying. Passive aggressive DM drills me for another character. Just bullshit tiefling hexblade twink into existence because I'm curious about warlock. Use a Hindu mother deity, Haridi. It's more interesting than typical evil magic item or whatever. Have general redemption story planned for her. DM doesn't tell me that this is stupid outright even though he thought it was. I'll get to that. I don't get the memo because he was beating around the bush instead of being honest. Recruit players to game because I like D&D and I wanted more friends. I get two people and he gets two people. They roll up a Beastmaster Revised Ranger, a Samurai Fighter, a Homebrew Race Maestro Bard, and a Catfolk Blade Slinger. I was concerned about the actual furry, but he was a cinnamon roll pretty much, and eventually became my co-DM after the events of this dumbass story. 
We start playing after a while and the DM essentially bitches at the bard for playing really well. I mean, the subclass was busted, but deus. He should have done his research or just made them play a glamour bard instead. It gets so bad that the DM actually stops a session to bitch at a player. What? What? <sighs> other, I, I couldn't well, be dealing with that. That's crazy. I, 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 be, I just couldn't be dealing with that. The other players, other than the fighter, have similarly poor characters, but since they were new, they weren't as clever. The fighter had natural charisma and charmed the pants off more than half of the party, my character included. My character was pretty much dead ass weight compared to everyone else because I was still stuck in my Eldritch Knight mindset. Save everything for the boss fight. Even though I had spell slots that recharged on short rest. Yeah. I suffer from that too. Yeah. It's okay. DM eventually gets frustrated at me for not playing my character right and just yelled at me. Didn't help me. Didn't give me tips or even a guide. Just bitches at me. Eventually start hating playing the character. Ask to switch a character for these reasons. DM denied because he didn't have a narrative weight, which was bullshit, because other than my patron, every NPC was bog fuck standard, and he was running this as a bog standard hack and slash. I don't get that, honestly. You're going at a player, like, you're not playing it, like, oh, can I change them? Can I play no. someone else? No! No! <laughs> no! What? <laughs> oh my god. Why be, why be complicated just for the sake of it? Why uh, be a dick just for the sake of it? Honestly, I think like you know, to be a DM, you need to have a really great love of storytelling and stuff like that, and and handling people. Yeah, I think you do need to be quite skilled, and you need you need to be above the the average player's mindset to be a good <laughs> yeah. DM. Yeah, I don't quit because I'm too antisocial and I'm pretty depressed, so I just suck it up. I like the party dynamic and the other characters, so I stay for that. I eventually accept an ad on another Discord server where I find way more fun with a better DM and get booted from that game because the players that invited me was a massive caster fag and he just tried to bully me out of the game. What? What? Why are you having <laughs> such so bad, bad luck? luck? That's shit. I, I feel bad. Like, for me, like, I see it all the time on TG. People are like, oh, stop going 5th edition of shit. It's like, well, the problem is it's so hard to even so hard find... To get anything else in 5th edition. It's so hard to find a good grip as is, I yeah. find. Like, I'm only recently getting into like, a group that I'm actually really happy with. Yeah. You know, and see finding people online, Jesus, there's so oh, many mentals out there. It's really difficult. And, like, you know, it's one of those ones, sadly, Jesus. 5th edition is what everyone seems to play. But, mate, this is ridiculous, this wee fella. So he got bullied out of the game. And he said, but I didn't take the hint until he just banned me on the flimsiest of pretenses because he was also the server owner. Gets super depressed over this. I feel so bad for I this week. I feel people. so bad. Per wee thing, per wee thing. Actually consider quitting online tabletop role playing games. I, I think I would be in the same boat. I would have been in the same boat. I, I would have felt so low because everyone was so <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why is everyone mean to me? I just want friends. <laughs> oh, the per wee, oh, I feel bad for him. I tell everyone in the grip of my troubles. They actually sympathise with me and actually comfort me over this. Anyone who wouldn't doesn't have a heart. I know. I, I can't help but feel I bad know. for this fella. The newer party members eventually reveal that they don't know how to play their characters and are afraid to ask the DM thanks to his reaction to my dumb bullshit and his passive aggressiveness. That proves that you're not a DM if your characters don't want... If your players don't want to ask you like, questions and yeah. ask you how to play... Well, it's not just how to play. Like you know, I think just you, give them pointers. Like you know, you should be saying shit to your DM from time to time. Be oh, this would be a really cool idea. What do you think about this idea for character that, development? It just shows that what he's you, such a bad DM. Yeah, that he doesn't even he, talk to his players without shouting at them. Yeah, he's that's passive aggressive, uh, bitching. I'm, I I don't know, but like, see for me, I just don't you know. You need some I, fucking Vagisil for his <laughs> salty family. I I couldn't spend any time with this person. No, I couldn't. I, I like kick you know, him up and down the road. I couldn't do I, that. I, I, it's hard enough to find time to play anything with people online and like you know to set, a, set aside time of your week to sit down and try and have some fun yeah. with someone like this I, I just find it impossible no. I couldn't do it I actually go look for guides because of this and because I wanted to play my character better if I really was stuck with him I actually get decent at playing him and the newer players improve as we go on DM tells me that he had plans to essentially break my warlock's weapon a saber that had his patron's soul sealed in it. And I freak out over this. Would that not completely 
That would that not that would take away that, him parlor? Yeah, that would that would take away all yeah. your spell casting abilities. Instead of talking to him like an adult because I think he'll blow me off and not understanding the vagueness of text, I send alternate ideas for patrons because I think he's gonna take my warlock's patron away. Use Shiva, Shiva, and Venetia, I can't pronounce Indian words. Daddies can't do it. For new warlock patron. DM. Wait, wait, Shiva was the one in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Please, Shiva. <laughs> yes. Remember? Yeah, it is. It is that one, yeah. DM gets mad in that retarded passive aggressive way, but still doesn't clarify anything. So I still think he's going to take my patron away, so I freak out even harder. I don't know, you got banned from Patreon there. <laughs> <laughs> got banned from Patreon for hate state. <laughs> for making hate speech calls. <laughs> I tell him that I'm going to play my warlock as some kind of good line character because most of them are borderline retarded edgelords and he basically just tries to twist my arm into playing an evil character with the reasoning of you're playing Hexblade and on, you're evil. Even though in an out of universe we didn't give Haridi an outright connection to the Shadowfell and the fact that I never used the outright evil abilities made him seem more bullshit. I lose my shit. Because I damn well know playing an evil character would ruin the party's dynamics. Also, I would have just left. I w- yeah. like, but then again, if you're playing with people you actually enjoy playing with, and it's, it's only what it, you know, the problem is if it's if it's a player that's it's just not so bad. it's not so bad. But, but if it's the, the DM, DM fuck oh, that shit. it's really difficult. Get the fuck. Yeah, run, run for the fucking hells, mate. I tell the other players what happened. The bard's player wants to advocate for me, and not really liking the DM anymore as they replace their character for a vengeance paladin styled off of the Amazons so the DM would bitch less. The samurai fighter and the cat folk blade singer supported me because they don't want the OT3 of our characters to be ruined and not to mention that my character was head over heels in love with the samurai and anyone he spent a while with us could tell as well and the rest of the party thought it was wholesome as he did save my character from getting eaten by a large black lizard thing and was the closest thing to an act of kindness that anyone did for my character, as he was a slave boy from the plane of fire. Ranger is generally tired of all this shit from both sides, and I can't really blame her. I confronted him on just doing shit with my characters. He also did this with my first character that was in an earlier campaign, without any input or consent from the guy who is, you know, actually playing the character, with other players' help. That has to be like a cardinal sin with DMs. You just can't. Like <laughs> you that can't is, just that, do that. You just don't, all right? Just stop it. With other players' help, her aspects to atone for her crimes in life at the end of my character's adventures. The DM calls me a bad player and just yells at me and just rubs the fact that I got banned from the game that I actually had fun in in my face. That doesn't speak anything better about you, Mr. DM. I know. That actually makes you sound so much worse. Yeah, you know that game that you actually tried to go and play in? And you, really and you actually, enjoyed it? actually really enjoyed <laughs> it? <laughs> banned? Like, mm. um, you know the only reason okay, why I Mr. went to join... bad DM. The only reason why I went for that is because you're that fucking shite. <laughs> oh my you're god. Pure oh, shite. <laughs> Mate, you got your scrappers. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I just crumble like a leaf in the wind leave the server while he's bitching at me, and I just sob my eyes out as things IRL piled up on my end, like getting banned from the other game and my honorary uncle die. Oh, That's sad. The other players basically tell him to go fuck himself and most of them leave. DM rages so hard that he deletes both the Discord server and the roll twenty room. Thank Good. God. Uh, look, I don't know. Fucking uh, asshole. Like, you know, I don't know how you deal with people like this. Have you guys? I've never encountered. Like, don't get me wrong. I've came across people that are a bit awkward and a bit weird, and people that don't handle situations very well at all. Yeah. But like, I've never. Well, maybe I've never like, like maybe whenever I do get signs like this, I'm like, ah, no, that's sweet, mate. Yeah. Wait, and then, then is I- that if you've never encountered someone like this, does that not mean that you're most likely them? Could you're most be. likely a that guy. Well, tail am I the problem player? <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst thing is Teal said to me in the other game it's like yo so I hear you want to crawl into an ogre's asshole then yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh shit you saw that <laughs> uh, so yeah maybe maybe I am that guy I don't think I'm that bad though I think I'm I think I'm pretty reasonable I'm like you know there are some things I could do that would be a lot more broken but uh, yeah. I try to avoid that you know I do try to 
you know. But like, let us know your stories down below. Have you ever encountered people like this? Because I fucking hope you haven't. <laughs> I, I hope you haven't. I'm I'm happy that it worked out for this fella here. I ha- I'm happy that they're not playing with that person anymore. Did it work out for him though? Well, they're doing their own game now. And they seem like, you know, well, we don't know if they're happier. Do, How do you gonna... know if they're doing their own game? Because they said at the start that we're going to, the, the co-DM with the furry. Maybe it do- maybe oh, it's yeah. even worse. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> maybe, it is. Maybe it is worse. I don't know. I don't know. I fuck. I don't know. Who what? the fuck knows? But anyway, as always, check out the links. Check out the website. And go and hit the subscribe button. Or uh, no, 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 no. We've got a new word for it. We're going to want, to, we're going to ask you to a chin to that subscribe button eh? oh for fuck's sake I'm not eh? saying that go and like hit the subscribe button and <laughs> just hit, <do> it. <laughs> <laughs> hit the notification bell while you're up there so you get notified every time we post or do you um, want do you want some little cringe do you want to smash that like button <laughs> no <laughs> maybe, I, maybe, maybe I am that guy who knows bye <laughs>